Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Smojo. Welcome back to another video. We're going to be starting up a new series here on the channel called What If. In this series of What If, we're going to have an array of episodes about what if Wizard 101 actually had guilds. This series will be consisting of 10 whole episodes as you guys can see on the screen now. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the building. Now, if you guys don't know what the building means, basically, if Wizard 101 was to have guilds, how would you start one? You know, where would you go in Wizard 101? Who would you talk to in Wizard 101 to actually create a guild, to see the existing guilds, to join the guild, the guild leaderboard, etc., etc., etc.? Where would this building actually be? Currently, as I'm aware of, if not all of the most important buildings in Wizard 101 are in Wizard City, which makes sense to me. You got the bazaar, you got Old Town, you got Shopping District, you got you got the World Tree, you got all of the schools, you know, you got the the library, you got the pretty much every single thing that you could want or need is in wizard city you don't have to go to a whole different world to go buy some treasure cards you don't have to go to a whole different world for a second bazaar or you know something like that so more than likely the guild building where you can actually go buy a guild join a guild leave a guild 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 everything about guilds will be in wizard city now it just comes down to what type of building will it be if it's going to be a building at all and where would it be? Now I brainstormed this a little bit and I figured there was three different ways that guilds can be introduced into the game. One way could be a kiosk, just like we have the pet hatching kiosk or the teaming up kiosk. Maybe there could be a kiosk for guilds somewhere in uh, Wizard City. The second way is an actual building or an actual shop, just like you could just have it in the shopping district. Maybe there would be a shop in the shopping district that would be specified just for guilds or maybe not even in the shopping district. Maybe in the commons, just like the housing area, maybe in the commons just like that right across from the housing area. That could be another option. The third option was its own little instance. For example, Pet Pavilion, you have to walk through the actual gate that says pet pavilion at the top maybe there's one just like that but for guilds you walk in there and there's like a whole area dedicated to guilds and just everything like that uh another way you could have it is the exact same way as the pet pavilion but imagine it as the pvp area where you would walk into the pvp area but there's no npcs it's up beast moon but besides that there's no npcs and there's just these little podiums right where you have the 1v1 you got the leaderboard you got the practice you got ranked you got you got a tournament you know something just like that but specified for guilds so we have an array of options that we can have to introduce guilds as a building or as a place where you go to learn more about guilds into the game. Now that we know what type of buildings that are possible in Wizard 101, now it's just time to choose which one that we're gonna have to do. Now, my opinion, I think those different type of buildings also rank to importance. For example, Pet Pavilion, since it has its own instance specified purely for pets, I'd say in a dev's mind that Pet Pavilion is a lot more important than uh, shopping district buildings or kiosk or anything like that so in my opinion i think guilds will be very important so i think it should be shown with the same treatment and that it should have its own instance just like pvp uh just like pet pavilion it should have its own instance now it just comes down to where would this instance be now if we take a look at the wizard city map more specifically the commons uh unicorn way uh oldie town shopping district just those in specific since those are the main areas of Wizard City, if we just look at those, we have to choose which one of those areas that actually put the uh, guild building inside of. Now, I'd say the commons is off limits, mainly because the commons already has a lot of instances. You have you have Ravenwood, you have Old Town, you have Pet Pavilion, you have where the Dev Teacher is, you have Unicorn Way. Those are a lot of instances in one area. So I would more than likely move the instance to old town or unicorn way now maybe not unicorn way because the pvp is already there so i would probably move guilds to old town or maybe even golem court because golem court doesn't have that many instances other than uh where the abandoned backyard is i forgot that area is like the the sewers or whatever it has that and it also has that one place in the back with the dragons at or whatnot so there's only two places there i think old town um Old Town has, you know, the instances of Cyclops Lane, Triton Avenue, Firecat Alley, um, and that's really about it. It also has Grizzleheim, kind of, but not really. 
Um, so that could be a good place to put it along with Golem Court. In my opinion, out of those two areas, I would probably choose Golem Court to put the guilds inside of. I personally feel like Golem Court is a little empty area. The only reason people go back there is to get into the sewers and to learn the first few uh plant quests but that's only for new wizards so there's really no one going back there unless you're trying to farm vigor's tomb fell spawn bandit backyard anything down there that's the only reason why you would go back there um but yeah i think adding a guild building back there would, would add some more traffic uh to go into a uh, golem court add some more incentives or whatnot but yeah, thank you for watching this video, guys. The next video, we're going to be talking about the requirements, what it takes to actually make a guild, what level you need to be, how much gold it's going to cost, um, anything like that is going to be in the next video of this series. So hopefully you guys tune into that. I appreciate you watching. If you liked the video, make sure you actually like the video. Comment down below your thoughts or what you would do uh, if you were in the shoes of a dev making guilds in Wizard 101. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great one and peace.